Yo, what up guys, it's the Don Pacey Boots here, and without wasting any time, Team 2 of Freaking Foot Beta is out, and we are doing a gameplay and review on one of the themed objectives cards. Seeing how the last one went, this one should go just as swimmingly, so let's get to it! Today's video will be a gameplay and review on Mr. John Cordova's Foot Birthday card. It looks semi decent. Hopefully, it's really good. Okay, guys, this is the team we will be playing Cordoba in. We have linked him with Shapeshifters Quadrado. And we also have Pablo in the team who we did the last themed objectives with birthday thing on. And if you did not see it, go and watch it. The link will be in the description, even though you cannot get this card anymore. But still go watch it because you're a nice person and I love you. It's gameplay time! Okay guys, I'm talking during the review, oh my god! Here we go, I'm utilizing Cordoba's 5 test skills, there we go, Lacroqueta and a brilliant finish shot into the top corner, oh my god, beautiful. At this point, I'm thinking, oh my god, I have such an amazing card, this grind was worth it. Later on, I fucking hate myself for freaking doing this damn card because it took so damn long and he isn't that good really. This guy then scored and used Cristiano Ronaldo's celebration with Jesse Lingard. Respect! At this point, we can finally test out Cordoba's speed until freaking Lucas or Theo Nenez just takes it off him so easily. Yeah, at this point yeah, I thought this guy had 4 star weak foot until I realized afterwards that they didn't upgrade his weak foot. Thank you EA. Okay, we're nearing the end of the game and this is usually when bullshit takes place. And it did. My bullshit, haha, <laughs> thankfully. So, I was trying to get through with Cordoba, done a smooth little drag back here and scored the shittiest goal of my life. I don't know how the hell that went in, it was some crappy ass goal, but I gotta go back. I celebrated because he celebrated for two of his goals as well, so yeah. I think he deflected, I don't know, I can't see it, but yeah, that's the highlights. Okay guys, it's time for the final summary on John Cordoba. Pros are in green and cons are in red. Now the card is free, technically, but you have to do challenges for it. And you should probably read those challenges because I didn't read forward should score a low driven shot. I tried scoring low driven shots with every single person I had a chance to. So remember, read your freaking challenges before doing them. That was the hardest part of this thing here. Five star skills really good. Physical, he can push many people out the ball. Dribbling is really good. Pace, I'm not so sure about. At points, you see he can burst through everyone, but. I mean, when freaking Theo or Lucas Hernandez was catching up to him, I was getting very annoyed. Positioning, I mean, I told him to get forward, but the guy just doesn't want to. I don't know if it's his high high work rate or whatever. 3 star weak foot, that's really annoying. I wish they upgraded that to at least 4 star. Finishing, he has 84 finishing, and that's why you have to put a sniper on him as indicated there. And there's other options, that's a con. You can freaking get Timo Werner, or you can get some other freaking German striker. I mean, Timo Werner is the best one, and he costs like, what, 5k to get? So just get Timo Werner, I don't know why you'd bother with this here, I guess just for the card design, or you could just use him as SPC fodder, or if you really like this guy, I mean, you could just put him into your team, your Colombian hybrid squad, or whatever. Therefore, I've given him a 6 out of 10, he's not such a bad card, but I wouldn't use him, I didn't have such a good experience with him, maybe someone else will have a better experience, but I didn't have a good one, and I don't like this guy that much. Freaking Pablo actually showed up in this one, yeah, and I regret giving him a 6 out of 10. Well, I gave him a 6 and a half, not a 6 out of 10, but I wish I gave him an 8 because he was actually playing really well. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do everything else, and I'll see you in the next one. Good, good, good. Bye.